All right. Moving along. Monique slams Sherry Shepard and Kim Whitley over backhanded compliments made while discussing the actress being blackballed in Hollywood. All right, so let's get into this. Let's take a look and a listen, okay? Like to hear it, hear it go, and then I'll share my opinion. Yes, okay, look, okay, let me oh, tell y'all something. Reading. Look at her. Go watch. You saw it? Yes. My boy Rob Wilkes, who was a, a, a producer of the radio, okay. is his movie. This is why I hate that Monique got, got blackballed by Hollywood. You can take it down. Precious Spears, huh? Monique won the Oscar for Precious for a reason. She's, and like I said, people underestimate comics. She's really, really good. She's a great actress. Now, personality wise, she's always getting in trouble. Always. with If it's not with another comic, D.O. Hughley, it somebody. is with the industry. It's somebody. But this movie, The Reading with Monique. When I tell you, I almost turned it off. This sucker was, it scared me. But Monique is That's funny in it too. Oh, it's yeah. a horror slash damn comedy. I'm going to tell you something. And Monique got it on her thing. So it's not going to be me giving away the movie because she's got it. Kudos to this. All right. So Monique did not appreciate the backhanded compliment that sherry gave so monique you already know that monique does not miss an opportunity to check a beep when necessary and i have to say i'm not mad at it we can't tell anybody how to feel okay um so <laughs> monique posted to her instagram page hello sherry and kim first First, thank you for your compliments regarding my talents and performance in the reading. I couldn't help but notice, though, that you two said because of my personality, I am always, quote unquote, getting in trouble. Y'all should already know that this was going to set Monique off. Her post continues. You then attempted to show a connection between my personality and me being blackballed along with the fallout I had with uh, brother D.L. Hughley. In addition, you two within the same breath mentioned how we as comics are quote unquote underestimated. <laughs> First thing, kids with their parents, criminals with the law and slaves with their masters get into trouble. And last time I checked, I don't fit into any of these categories to get in trouble with anyone mentioned. Do you too? She continues. When you two say, quote, we as comics are underrated, end quote, and you, Sherry, Kim, and I are ironically all black female comics, why do you think we're quote unquote underrated? My personality is of such where I have to speak up and out against injustices so we can stop being, as you both said, underrated. And if you notice, I haven't ever started a conversation about you two that involved any negativity in any way in all of the years I've known you two. Check my resume. I don't go knocking on anyone's door saying things I can't substantiate, but some people have a problem with me because when they knock on my door with BS, I answer. Anytime the team of you two sisters would like to speak with the team of my husband and I, we welcome it. Thank you two again for the compliments, though backhanded, and please know, regardless, I still love you both to life. Baby, listen, listen. When are y'all gonna learn to stop messing with Monique? If Monique ain't, ain't call, Kudos if she ain't this. send for you, yes. don't call for her. Leave Monique alone. Now, do I think that that was a backhanded compliment? Yes. I do. Some people don't. There are people who comment on this and have mixed, you know, mixed reviews and mixed opinions, which is totally fine. But here's my thing. If Monique says that she's offended, I respect the fact that Monique says that she was offended or not even offended. She didn't like it. Sherry is very interesting to me 
because recently Sherry was on The Breakfast Club with Charlemagne and DJ Envy as a guest. Not a guest host, but just as a guest. And she said over and over again, oh, oh you know, my show is positive. I, I don't like to, to not be positive. Everything is positive with me. I want a good experience in the morning. I want my audience to be positive, positive, positive. Now, even though some people may not think that what Sherry Shepard said was negative, it wasn't as positive, positive, positive as you try to make yourself out to be, Miss Shepard. I find it interesting also that if someone has a maybe not so favorable opinion of Barbara Walters, Sherry Shepard is ready to claw your eyeballs out regarding Barbara Walters. And I understand Barbara Walters gave you an opportunity. Barbara Walters gave you some great advice. But I find it very interesting that you would jump up to defend Barbara Walters, but then you will, on a public platform that you share with another black woman, try to throw a backhanded compliment at Monique and play into this reputation, allegedly, that Monique has, has as being difficult. And you're just basically adding flames, fumes, gasoline not flames gasoline to an already lit fire okay monique has worked very 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 hard to stand up for herself and that's something that we hear a lot of women of all different hues a lot of women in the industry have a hard time doing sometimes these women will resort to some real deplorable tactics in order to get on and make a name for themselves. And then there's shame for it. Monique is not somebody that can be pushed around. Monique is not somebody that just goes along to get along. Monique is not somebody that's just gonna take whatever you say and be quiet and deal with it. And I don't blame her for that. It's already hard enough her living in her real life, having to deal with all types of foolishness in a field that she loves, something that she loves to do, acting in Hollywood, she's faced with a whole bunch of demons. How many people are going to tell you the same story over and over again in Hollywood, men and women? It's cutthroat. So because Monique has a husband that stands by her, regardless of whatever people may think about her husband, he's her husband. You ain't married to him, so you shouldn't care. She should care what her husband is like, right? So Monique already has to go through so much. And I, I just, I feel like you probably have a personal issue with Monique. And I'm pretty sure that you probably had conversations behind the scenes about Monique. That's totally fine. But for you to think that Monique wouldn't say anything, you're crazy. Then you really don't know Monique. Or maybe you knew Monique would say something. That's why you said this. Again, everybody is doing something to go viral this is a viral moment for you sherry because let's keep it a buck after like the first week of your show nobody's talking about your show really Stephen a smith came and kind of woke it up a little bit when he had his comments to say about rihanna performing at the super bowl prior to her performing at the super bowl that got a little viral moment so maybe you feel like okay this is my platform i could say something and then maybe i could take it over to my show Cause I don't watch the Sherry Shepard show and it's not because it's not good, but I just, I don't know. I, I'm not interested. So maybe she did this to go viral because here I am talking about it. Everybody else talking about it. Jasmine brand posting about it. A couple of people are talking about it. Lots of people are talking about it. So welcome to your viral moment. And if I was Monique, I understand Monique said that she would li like to sit down with Sherry and talk it out. I think that would be great because it shows that you can, you know, have dialogue about and confront her about what you don't appreciate about what she said about you. But I wouldn't even waste my time, Monique. Don't even bother. I think you said enough in this post. Don't allow Sherry to use you <laughs> for clicks and views. And I know that that sounds pretty harsh, but I'm going to keep it a buck. I don't think the Sherry Shepard show is doing as well as it's being reported. And although, yes, her show was renewed, I mean, that doesn't mean anything. So I don't know. If you're going to give somebody a compliment, give somebody a compliment. When you give somebody a backhanded compliment, that opens the door for them to, to clap back at you. And she checked you. So I'm curious to hear what Kim and um, Sherry Shepard have to have to say. Um, 
I don't know. I just, I just find Sherry very fake. I just think parts of her are, are fake. You know, she had backhanded compliments about Wendy Williams as well. You know, um, I think she should have been a lot more gracious when it came to transitioning over from the Wendy Williams show to the Sherry Shepard show. But again, nobody owes anybody anything. So I don't know. You let me know what you think in the comments, ladies and gentlemen. All right. That's all I got. Ain't got no more. Be sure.